the morning of day two. I'm just about to head back out kayaking on the Marlboro Sounds for another day to get to Mistletoe Bay. The best part of backpacking, which is being totally self-sufficient and carrying everything you need with you so that you don't need to depend on anyone else, uh, is also the worst part because it means you can't forget anything and you have to make sure that you're able to carry all the things you need. Imagine everything you use every day of your life, you had to remember to bring it with you all at once and that was the only thing you were going to get for the rest of your life. That's what backpacking is like. I'm leaving and I'm going to start paddling toward Mistletoe Bay. Uh, hopefully I should be able to get there in three to four hours, although it's looking a little windy, so we'll see what happens. It's beautiful out here though. Check it out, the wind is blowing exactly the direction I want to be going. I don't need to paddle at all and I'm going three miles per hour right toward my campsite. Perfect day on the Marlboro Sounds. Oh no, the wind is changing, the wind is changing. It's really, really windy out here today. I am fighting the wind as much as I can, paddling as hard as I can to get where I want to go. Well, I uh, just dropped my GoPro into the ocean. Here's a tip, GoPros are waterproof, but they can sink to the bottom of the ocean. So if you're seeing me now, that means I didn't drop my phone into the ocean, but all that GoPro footage, gone. So I think real adventures have two components, exploration of the unknown and risk of encountering actual danger. So on that day when I was paddling in the Marlboro Sounds, very high winds cut my backpack, starting to blow me out into the open ocean. And obviously I don't have any video of this because I was paddling for my life, trying not to get pulled out to sea, but it started to feel like that scary ocean scene from The Princess Bride. Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the shrieking eels. If you don't believe me, just wait. They always grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. When I was trying to avoid being blown out to sea, it was the first time I realized that I'd sent myself on a real adventure. I'm not sure that I have the energy to fight the wind all the way to Mistletoe Bay, so... Uh, I just looked at the map and I'm thinking that I may stop early at a campsite near here uh, because you can see right now the wind is just blowing me backwards at at least a mile per hour, maybe two miles per hour away from where I'm trying to go. What a pain. I'm arriving right now at my campsite for tonight. Uh, this was not really part of my plan, but it'll be nice to spend an extra day out here in the Marlboro Sounds, and uh, it's just too windy for me to get to the place I was trying to get to. Hopefully I'll get to Mistletoe Bay tomorrow, but for now, I'm gonna set up camp, have a good dinner, relax at this beautiful, unexpected stop in the Marlboro Sounds. I uh, stopped early today because the wind was crazy, uh, but I found this campsite and uh, I also found two Kiwis, Steve and Kim, who uh, uh, invited me to their boat for a drink. And here they are, right here. Hey guys, we found this uh, crazy American adrift in the uh, Marlborough Sounds. What is he uh, thinking? It's a really long way to paddle. Crazy, he'll probably never make it, but uh, good on him for giving it a crack. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see where I go next.